hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video I want to do something a little more different just something fun and it's not anything that I just came up with I've seen other creators do it including Leanne Soreo she um, she did a video like this uh, a few months back but I just thought it would be fun it would be creating an entire face with samples and um, a lot of times I don't even keep samples or I pass them on to uh, friends and family, or if I have a giveaway, I'll include some of those in within the giveaway as an extra little bonus. But I went ahead and I've been keeping some so that we can create um, something together. And um, I do have some moisturizers, which I'm not gonna use because I already used moisturizer on my face. But I have plenty of um, foundations and lipsticks and let's just um, go ahead and see what we can do with what I have. So I even have a little lip balm because I know I do. I threw it in here. So let me find that. Here it is. And this is the one from Milk um, Makeup. And it's the one that has the, um, the cannabis, the CDB, CDB oil in it. And it's very nice. I do have the full size and I really do enjoy it. And this is something that is not greasy or heavy and it does get absorbed by your lips so it's not anything that once you get ready to put lipstick on you have to worry about wiping off most of the time it's already absorbed so as a primer i have a lower uh yeah the laura mercier primer so we go in to use that and I do like this primer. I own it. This is a luminous one. And, well, I don't own a full size. I use, um, I have a couple of minis, deluxe size, which um, I got as 100 point bonuses or whatever you want to call them through Sephora. So um, I haven't had to buy a full size one yet, but it's a very, very nice one. It is not heavy. It does give you a little bit of luminosity. Let me bring you up a little closer. But not to the point where you're going to look super shiny or oily. Okay, let's look at the different foundations that I do have. Um, I have the um, Natasha Denona one. I also have one by Beauty Blender. And I don't know what... Uh, shade this is but if this is the right shade but I've tried the Natasha Denona one before I own it so I'm gonna see if this one is the right shade the um, the beauty blender and we'll try that since it's something different and hopefully there's enough in here because that's the sample the problem with samples it seems like there's enough product in here that um, they don't give you enough so it looks like the shade may be okay I want to try using a brush because um, sometimes you don't need as much uh, product if you use a brush um, okay so far it really doesn't look like the foundation has much coverage Maybe we can build it up. I think there's a little, there's enough in there that I can put a little more, especially in my troubled areas. But it really looks like it's very light coverage. I don't know what kind of coverage it's supposed to have. This is a foundation that I've never been very um, curious about because I don't know how you go from making just beauty blenders or beauty sponges to foundation <laughs> I don't know when companies do that I almost feel like I don't know if they were good at beauty sponges that's probably just me right I mean I don't know let me squeeze a little bit more out this is the way it comes out on this little package it's, they seem to give you enough product um, but you definitely need it because it's very very light coverage I sound a little low-key today I'm actually in quite a bit of pain today 
I haven't been in this much pain in a while. I went through all those injections and it doesn't seem like it really helped much. So that really is frustrating. Um, this really doesn't give you much coverage, guys. I've had to use quite a bit of it. I mean, it seems to build um, without a problem. It doesn't look cakey or heavy, but um, definitely is very, very light coverage. I mean, even with several layers on, you can really still see the spots. I think the the color match is okay. It's a good color for me. But I don't know. I don't know how long if it's supposed to be long lasting. Let me see what it says. Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. Full coverage. Um, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. Uh, far from it. At the most, I think medium but um i definitely would not co call this a full coverage foundation here we go it's the fenty concealer and hopefully there's a shade in here that will work for me uh let's just start opening and try it out there's not much in here either so Wow, they, don't, they hardly put any product in here. How are you supposed to know if you like something? <laughs> oh, I got it in my eyeball. Um, this is very light. This brush is a little dense. Um... And even though it it feels soft, when I go like this, it kind of, you know, pinches a little bit. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Not impressed by it so far. Let me see if I can put another one that is a little darker. Uh, right over here to cover my I'm gonna do it with my finger I do like the Fenty um, primer I do own it so um, this is definitely one that I like And if you hear any noises in the background, my dad is here with me, so he's awake and playing on his phone, so he should be all right. And I'm going to try to use this as a eye uh, primer also, because I really don't have any minis or samples of an eye primer, so we are going to use this which I do that sometimes. Just use a concealer as an eye primer. All right, so now for powder. I am going to use a mini uh, Bare Minerals powder that I have, and this is the Mineral Veil. I don't know if they have this in different shades or if it's just one shade. I just got a full size one in a, um, a Christmas kit that, I, that they have out for the holidays that I brought. Ooh, I think I took out a little too much that they brought out for the holidays and um it seems darker than this one so maybe they do have different shades so i'm going to use just a little bit down here to kind of set my eyes and also a little bit on my lid then i'm going to get a, a bigger brush to do the rest of my face 
Yeah, but this, actually, I like this shade more. The other one, well, this is supposed to be also, I think, like a powder foundation. So maybe that's why the other one is darker. But um, I really don't use loose powder foundations. I do love the Laura Geller one, the baked one. I use that one quite often, especially um, in the mornings due to work because it's so fast, so faster than messing with foundation and powder. That's like all in one and it looks nice. All right, so now, so far so good. I think the face is looking okay. I'm looking a little pale, but it's okay. We'll all come together at the end. So I definitely like this powder. Um, I mean, it looks nice. It's supposed to help um, blur any signs of uh, aging or lines or pores. So, I mean, the pores look okay. All right, now for eyeshadow. I really don't have too many mini palettes. So I pulled this one out. This is one of those that I got in a uh, a lure box. I have like three of them. I can only find one. I don't know if I passed the other ones on or if they're just misplaced. Now all of these are shimmer. So I'm still going to use them and see what I can do. So I'm going to try to get a smaller brush like this one, one that is not as fluffy on the on the top. And I'm going to go with the brown one in my crease. And I'm going to see if I can keep it from looking super glittery. And sometimes when you use a um, more precise brush, it won't look as glittery. I'm tell you the truth, it's the first time I use this. It's kind of hard to create a look with just three shadows, but... It can be done. See, it doesn't look very glittery, so, or shimmery. It's not really glitter, it's more like shimmer. Oh, you know what? I put powder on, and oh, some of the minis that I have for my face, not some, all of them are, um, Cream. I just totally forgot. Well, we're gonna see how well they work over cream over powder. They're either gonna look nice or they're gonna mess up the whole thing. Which that would be a lesson to be learned. And I know better than to put cream over powder, even though I do have some creams that work just fine over powder, but I never use these. So I don't know if this gun they're going to work well so this is kind of nice too like if you're gonna go away for a weekend or something or overnight and you don't want to be carrying a bunch of stuff if you save your samples you can just you know create a look with that and just use it and throw it away and you don't have to pack as much all right, so now I am going to use um, this pink one on my lid, and I'm going to use my finger. Okay, it's not going on very well. I would say that if you try to use a brush with this, Nothing much is going to show because, um, see, it's not really sticking on there very well. So I think this is going to be a one use palette because I don't really care for that. Very patchy. Wow. What is going on? It 
This is the brush that I used for the brown. Hmm. It's kind of like breaking apart in the in the uh, pan. I'll show you. Look. See, it's like. I don't know. This is Morocco, I think. Yeah, Positano. I know a lot of us received that. But let me know if you have it, if you have the same problem. Because um, I am not impressed. Okay, I'm going to take a denser brush. Like this one right here, it's almost like a, see it's got like a dense tip. And I'm going to use the gold, kind of like a gold peachy shade. Oh, it's falling apart. Hmm. On the inside. I did bring my glitter glue. I wonder if it will work better with a glitter glue. Let's see. Let's try that. I'm gonna put glitter glue a little bit of it on the other side of the brush. Just a tiny bit. Okay, see it coming. There you go. I'm gonna put it on over here. And over here. So we can get this to work better. I don't like this shadow. It's, it's all falling apart in the little pan. This is going in the garbage. There's no fallout. All right, I'm going to use this brush right here with the brown and go a little bit under my lower lash line to try to tie everything together. All right, so this is a fail. I do not like that. Look at that. Look how the palette just kind of like fell apart. The brown is the one that worked the best, I have to say. Okay, now for mascara. Better Than Sex Mascara, a mini one. I'm gonna use that. Okay, I am back. For my brows, I have a mini, and this is from Benefit, and this is the, uh, what is this, Gimme Brow? Which I don't even, I hope it's tinted. Yeah, because uh, I don't have anything else mini that has color, like a mini brow pencil. So this is tinted, so I should be able to just fill in my brows a little bit and just create a little bit of a darker brow. Okay, and now let's go for bronzer. Now that I have different ones I have, well, this is a highlighter and this is from Fenty. And this is like a glowy bronzer, but I have one from Milk Makeup. Let's see. 
I think I'm gonna use the milk makeup one. Yeah, that looks nice. So I'm gonna go with that. So let's see. Let's see how well you work with powder underneath. That blended nice. It didn't. Re I didn't move my uh, makeup underneath, which is nice. Huh. All right, milk makeup. Hmm, not bad, huh? Especially with powder already on there. I have a milk makeup. Oh, where's my... Here we go. This is a blush, so I'm going to try to use the same brush. You know what these products work really really well over powder I'm impressed because sometimes you use a um, a creamy product over powder and it doesn't look nice or will pull the uh, foundation so that actually worked okay all right now uh, for the um, highlighter I think that one I'm gonna use the Fenty because I don't think I have a milk makeup highlighter. Nope. This, there you go, here you go. Okay, so, is this a highlighter? Yep. Okay, so this is the Fenty highlighter. And let's see. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. I got stuff all over it. clean my hands before I get makeup all over my face where it doesn't belong what well, belongs on my face but not in this delivery system now this um, highlighter is not as creamy as the milk makeup products so I almost feel like if I'm not careful I am going to end up pulling my foundation off I don't even know if you can see it but that, that's about all I'm gonna do because I really feel like I am going to pull my have glitter on my nose my foundation off yeah, th that foundation really didn't cover my dark spots that much. Um, definitely not one that I would want to go and purchase. Um, I dropped something. I know you're shocked, right? Okay. This is a pencil that I have from, I think it's Laura Mercier. Yes, and I want to use it in my inner corner, and it is a mini. And I want to use just a tiny bit on my brow bone. Well, this probably would have made a better highlighter than the one that I have. This is very, very creamy. All right, for, so now for lips, I have a lot of choices for lips. I have the YSL. I This one I'm not going to use because this is just like a lip balm. That's too light. 
This one is Laura Mercier. And these are the shades. I thought I had more. Let's see. This is Laura Mercier also. This is the same shades. No, these are different shades. YSL. I thought I had more. Yeah. Um, this is the same ones. some um charlotte tilbury i think i'm gonna try the charlotte yeah they have some real pretty ones um i think i'm gonna use walk of shame that one right there but i'm going to borrow the lip pencil from ysl if i can get it out wow this um, brush is very stiff. It's a very pretty shade. I like that. I really like the Natasha Denona lipsticks. They're so nice. They're so comfortable and they all have such pretty shades. I like that very much. Walk of Shame. Hmm. Now I'm going to be tempted and I'm going to be doing the walk of shame. <laughs> ah, a piece of lipstick in my lips. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, completed look. I hope that you like it. Um, it turned out okay. The shadow is definitely not a fave. Um, I am not going to keep it. Oh, I have lipstick in my mouth because I really don't I really don't like this formula um am I opening it the wrong way no you can't even get into this silly little packet the only one that was nice really is the brown one that one performed pretty nice I have to say but the uh the other two especially that pink one that was terrible But um, I love the lipstick shade. That is very pretty. That's very, very beautiful. I really, really do like that. So, and I'm sure the other ones are just as pretty. They feel so comfortable and so creamy and so nice on your lips. Really nice. Anyway, this is a completed look. Uh, let me know what you think. I think you'll, I did okay for just picking up items that I never used before. Because even these minis. I've had them for a while, but I've never used them. So this is the first time I have used this before, the the uh, mascara. But um, everything else, including the foundation, is the first time I use it. This is a little sample that I just got, and I wasn't even sure that it was tinted because I, I had not opened it. But uh, yeah, I've had all these little milk makeup and Fenty samples not samples minis and i had never used them before so i like the way that the milk went on and i don't know if i maybe if i didn't have powder if the fenty would have applied nicer nicer but the milk makeup applied beautifully like there was no powder there it was really very smooth it really spread smoothly it didn't pull anything off it didn't you know pill up because i had powder on there already so it really performed really, really, really nice. I do already own a full-size bronzer, the one that is called the Matte bronze, Bronzer, which is not this one. This one had, this one was, was a little different, but I love it. I think it, it really did a great job. So I'm glad I have those because I like to take little travel size stuff with me whenever we go anywhere. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the, the look that I created. Um, just let me know what you think and i will see you on my next video i love you guys and don't forget about the giveaway the 1000 subscriber giveaway that i have going on and there's some nice items on there so i will link the video above and also in the information box so that you guys can check it out and enter all right guys i will see you on my next one i love you bye Mwah.